describe your legacy in one hashtag? This hashtag could be as long as I wanted to be, right? <laughs> nah. My legacy in one hashtag. play with that dude, you know what I mean? And I think he's gonna be special. Well, I can remember when I first saw Dwayne. He wasn't great yet, but, you know, it's like having a, a puppy. And if you walk by the puppy and he every now and then, then you could probably make the assumption that he's gonna be a hell of a watchdog. I requested that I be traded to Miami and play with a young fella named Dwayne Wade. Flash when I first got there because he had flashes of being one of the best guards to ever play the game. That's why they call him Flash. Dwayne threw himself into everything. We saw him launch himself at the basket more times than I can count. Dwayne is he's extremely competitive. He's a fierce competitor. He was just doing everything, making plays for everybody else, and just played with a motor, played with an intensity. I've always had nothing but mutual respect for him, but when we compete on the basketball court, we're going at it. As a competitor, you want to see somebody else doing well and pushing the envelope. That made me get in the gym and train more. He also sort of launched himself at the whole experience, and you certainly saw that during the 2006 finals. D-Wade won an NBA Finals MVP by completely destroying the Dallas Mavericks over the last four games of that series. The way he went through that NBA Finals until that eventual final game that they won was such a turning point. From there, he was in the big leagues in the NBA. Wade with a steal, with two. Wade puts it up for the win. Yeah, he did it. So I grew up in Miami and he completely changed the city. It used to be a big football town and now it's 1000% a basketball town. And all everyone wants to talk about is the heat. D-Wade really brought in that Hollywood, you know what I mean? That, that pizzazz, that wow, that flash. Playing with that team, it was like, it was the show, man. It's like the Rat Pack. This is what Sinatra and Sammy Davis and those guys must have felt like. And we had a good time. We looked good doing it, man. You know, we had an aura, strong. Aura. Hasn't been seen since. Miami basketball wasn't really like that before Dwayne got here. Well, first and foremost, I was on the banana boat. I don't know why I'm not included in the brotherhood or in the banana boat shenanigans. That's me at the head of the boat. The brotherhood is a lot bigger than the banana boat. We're a family. We're in each other's lives forever. Our kids are the best of friends. When you look at the guys, you know, CP, Mel, D, Braun, they are happy to show the world their friendship. Tell them one night you can do that, huh? It's the only time I can win. <laughs> and it's real and it's deep and it's beautiful to see. I've always did things my way. Whether they've been good or whether they've been bad, I got here because I've done things the way that I feel is right for me. And what I feel is right, I feel is right to ask you guys to join me for one last dance, for one last season. And let's write our own story to the end of this career, together. Raiders, back to Twain. This was supposed to be the geriatric tour, this one last dance. It was supposed to be one last samba for the old man. And he's still the guy you want with the ball in his hands at the end of the game. You know, he's not playing for money. He's not chasing a championship. He's playing for the pure love of the game. The stars only align for something like this every once in a while. I think it's been fantastic 
for Dwayne to be able to see what he means to so many people. Everywhere he goes, he's gonna get a stand ovation because he did it the right way. And everyone that's coming up after him, they're gonna be like, I wanna be the next Dwayne Wade. Over the summer, I talked to him on the phone for like two hours, just asking him about his whole career. And I didn't realize how similar our games were until I had played my whole rookie season. It's just like, wow, like he's, he's, he's watching. <laughs> there was a lot of pressure behind, behind that for sure, but you know, it's a blessing. He's always wanted to go out on his terms. Could he play longer? Absolutely. Does he want to miss one second more of any of the kids' lives? He's given the game enough and he's he's ready for the next phase of life. He's given me the blueprint. I think we play similar in some ways, like, you know, his famous Euro step. I try to do that a lot. I think I play with a little more finesse to him still. D is training Zaire to be a good man first. There's way more lessons that he's open to his dad teaching him as opposed to, you know, that crossover fade away. I'm trying to inspire him. You know, I want to give him something and someone, you know, to continue to look up to and continue to be inspired by. But one day I want to be grabbing his phone. I want to be carrying his bags and his shoes to the All-Star game. So let's see what we can do. I think D-Way's legacy is hashtag Way's world. Hashtag Way County. His legacy is hashtag phenomenal. Hashtag he wasn't the star of his AAU team. Hashtag my belief is stronger than your doubt. Hashtag greatness. Hashtag champion. It's the most important thing anyway. Hashtag just a kid from Robbins, Illinois. My legacy in one hashtag. <sighs> I think I just did it in like one breath. It's like, that's my legacy for me. It's like, <sighs> so my legacy in a hashtag would be hashtag my breath away. <laughs>